my fellow scientists. Welcome to another episode of Science is Everywhere, the home edition. My name is Marie Lankin. I'm from the Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. And as you can see, I am outside for day two of our summer experiments. So the first experiment that we did, we took some different materials, took them outside, and then checked to see if they melted or stayed solid in sunlight under that light and that heat that the sun provides. So now if you think about it, inside usually the sun isn't there, but there is something, maybe some things in the kitchen more specifically that have heat. Can you think of a couple of things? Maybe a toaster or maybe even an oven. So today what we're going to be doing is putting together those cooking properties and the sun to make a solar oven. Something that you can cook with using just the energy to heat from the sun, which is pretty cool. So I have my materials here, so we'll go ahead and put one together, then we'll experiment with it and we'll talk about how it works. So let's put this thing together first. Let me show you what's involved. So you can see I have a shoe box. You can use any box that actually you have home. I just use this because we have way too many of them in the house. <laughs> Inside I have the rest of the materials. So you're also going to need a piece of plastic. This is just the top of like a salad container. You can also use plastic wrap if you don't have this. A black piece of paper some tin foil, a pair of scissors, good scissors, a pencil, some tape, and because I'm an adult, I also grab, this is called a box cutter. Please just use this with an adult. You may not need it, but I sometimes find that it helps. So having an older scientist with you to kind of help you out with this, that would be good, but this is not something we absolutely need. Okay, so now that I have my huge pile of materials, <laughs> let's go ahead and put this together. All right, my fellow scientists, so my solar oven is ready. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna decide what I wanna cook in here. So just some ideas. You've got s'mores, you've got quesadillas, you've got garlic toast, you've got nachos, pretty much anything that you want to melt. I've even seen people do pizza in this. 
you can go ahead and use the solar oven with. So I'm gonna decide what I wanna put in here. I'm gonna put it right inside and then we'll go out and we will try out our solar oven. Let's go. After talking about all of those recipes, I went for the easiest one. <laughs> I just got a piece of cheese and put some crackers out on a plate. And we're just gonna make some very, very simple nachos. So I went ahead and I broke up the cheese, kind of spread it out over the crackers so they had room to melt. And then took the plate outside, put it inside the solar oven, full sunbeam, and 30 minutes later, come check on our nachos. And look at that. That cheese is nice and melted. Very, very simple recipe, easy to do. But how did this work? Hmm. So what was I saying? Oh, right, how this works. Okay, so this box, every part of it, has a job in cooking what's inside. So first of all, the box itself traps the heat. So we've got the heat coming down from the sun, which actually travels through the plastic and into the box. The box is gonna go ahead and hold on to that. All the foil that we put around it is reflecting, just like a mirror, all of the different sun rays to make sure that it actually goes into the box. The pencil's also helping with that. So you realize this flap here, we taped it. That went ahead and kind of helped extra mirror to get more sunlight to go inside. Well, there's also that piece of black paper. That paper absorbs or gets warm and holds on to that, that warmth from the sun or those sun rays in order to go ahead and keep the inside. On top of all of that, then you have the plastic. Have you ever been in a greenhouse before? Feel how it's kind of warm in there? or maybe you're behind a window and the sunbeam is right outside. So this clear plastic kind of acts like a barrier or blocks the heat from going out. So it's circulating in here and it's collecting that heat. And that's what ends up cooking our food on the inside. Really cool experiment to try. Don't need any electricity, no power whatsoever. You just need a really strong sunbeam. We were out here in about, I would say about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Put this in full sun as you saw worked beautifully so my best piece of advice to kind of help this along is pick the warmest part of the day where the sun is right above you so if you stand outside in the sun if your shadow's right underneath you that's the best time of day to go ahead and try this so pick your favorite recipe make your solar oven and show us what your solar ovens look like we will put a hashtag how about right there somewhere different <laughs> I've seen um, solar ovens made like this, smaller ones, bigger ones. Show us what you made and show us your recipes. You may have some ones that you can think of as well. And if you couple that with the last experiment that we did, things that melt, well, there you go. You've got some new ideas, hopefully. So thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this afternoon with our Sciences Everywhere Home Edition. And we hope to see you again in our next edition on Friday. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.